Hey guys, just wanted to uh, say hi today from the 100 Day Challenge. Uh, just a couple things we wanted to cover. I know as we uh, had our last uh, training seminar, we talked uh, exclusively to the Silvers and Above about doing more videos and putting things up on the Best in Biz website and the 100 Day Challenge, just to kind of uh, allow people to grow, get more information, and uh, keep the thing rolling. I know with the 100 Day Challenge, we're already almost at 200 people that are on Facebook and that uh, receiving those daily messages, getting those principles and all the things that are helping them stay focused, and we're excited about that. So just a couple of thoughts today, what I want to talk about and what we're trying to accomplish. I know uh, tomorrow when we're going to be at uh, the Ohio function, that'll be three functions here in the last uh, couple of weeks. So we've been in Vancouver, uh, Toronto, and then now Ohio. And uh, what our goal is, is that we've heard through the winter's audios that they went from like 65 people to 3,000. And so uh, I know in all three of those locations, probably well over 165 people uh, are there. And so it seems very feasible that in the next two years, why we couldn't do the exact same thing. And then just mushroom and grow these centers. And uh, with the attitude that's happening, the challenge, the focus, I think we're 100% on track. And so uh, even if we took 65 of the young people, because one of the objectives uh, that we really want to cover is having people qualify platinum and above, at least 65 of them in the next two years in all three locations that are under 30. Uh, I know that this morning we just posted on the Best in Biz website an audio by Mark and Meredith Nathan. And that's a couple that uh, did the Opportunity Knox uh, uh, audio, and uh, we just posted their teaching from that same afternoon. It was absolutely fantastic. So you'll be able to go there later today if you're a subscriber to the Best in Biz website, download that audio, and they just talk about how to build a team and, and what Greg and Jackie Francis did and how they rallied their people around just breaking pins and getting these people under 30 to hit these levels, to get free, to be young, wealthy, and free, and it's exciting. One other thing that's come to our attention, I just wanted to cover here with you this afternoon, is um, obviously you know, we've got to grow the numbers, uh, we've got to take prospects from uh, uh, prospects to grow in IBOs and, and so it's come to my attention with all the technology and all the things that we're using, things like Facebook and you know the Best in Biz website, the QI overview, you know people email, CDs, books, the website itself, Amway Global, um, Quickstar website, the catalogs and what I'm noticing is that people are somewhat trying to shortcut the shortcut and what I mean by that is they have all these tools in their arsenal and they're kind of like back here pushing those tools towards the prospect. And really what I see is, you know, it would be like me being a framer or a plumber or an electrician taking their van of tools to the job site, leaving it there and expecting somebody to kind of get the plumbing done, get the electrical work done or to frame the house. And so what we want to try to get accomplished today is to have you understand these are fantastic tools, but what we really need to do is have you understand you need to be at the front of your business. It's about you. It's about you being the front. It's about you doing the the call and making the contact in person. It's about you doing the QI live. It's about you doing the plan, showing the plan STP, and about you doing the follow-up. And then if you understand that, all these other tools uh, are just there at your disposal. Facebook is an excellent way to create a list. Now I don't think it's a great way to have it be the front of your business where all you're doing is just sending out messages to people thinking that they're going to get emotionally attached to your business all of a sudden and want to join. It's a great way to contact them to get their phone number, but you have to make the call. You know, same, I know a lot of people have sent people to the QI video, it's great, but you know, if they're within an hour radius, let's go over and sit down with them for 15 minutes and do a proper QI where they see how excited and jacked and cranked up you are about the business. You know, we've talked a lot over the last uh, few weeks as we've traveled around through Toronto, Ohio, and Vancouver about the plan and that there's a certain amount of time, let's talk about maybe 24 to 48 hours, that there is uh, time that after you do the QI, they need to see the plan. And so if there's not a proper class available, you got to go back and do that yourself. And then that's where the team, the upline support team, is there to help you. But in between you and the team, the upline support team, that's the face of your business. And then all these arsenals come after. We can't shortcut the shortcut. We understand you make a list. You invite people, you filter them through a phone call, you get them in front of a quick overview, you show the plan at that point or at another design time, 24 to 48 hours later, you go back and do the follow-up. If they need more information, obviously we can send them to the video, we can get them some CDs, we can get them some books, we can get them on the website, see how fantastic that is. But don't let that be all your business and you back here. Be the face of your business. It's kind of like in football, they talk about a wedge, you know, where uh, if you're doing uh, tackling and uh, in the kickoff return, they build a wedge. You talk about the people like William Wallace and Braveheart. He led the charge. 
I just want you today to understand, lead the charge for your business. Be out in front, talking to the prospects, and don't rely on all these other tools to do the work for you. Have a great day and enjoy the 100-day challenge.